Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. I'm here with a special vlog for you today because I wanted to do something to thank everybody and to kind of celebrate all the things that have been accomplished or I've accomplished this year. And this is kind of my special way of doing that. So I have a script in front of me. I'm not going to read off of it, but I have some important information I want to share with everyone. So thank you for tuning in today for this unplanned video. I'm wearing my Happy Holidays Pikachu shirt. You can't really see it, but it's a little bit too tight for me now, but it's okay. So Merry Christmas to everyone. I want to thank all of you for a very wonderful 2021. I know it was filled with a lot of challenges and it's still challenging. But I think overall, it was a good year. I made lots of new friends and new followers on Twitter that I got to meet, which is really exciting. I think as of now, I have 205 new Twitch followers this year, which is crazy because I think for the first two years that I streamed, I only gained maybe a little over 100 followers in those two years. But in this year alone, I more than doubled that. So that's really exciting. I also stream for over 315 hours and I now have 169 nice videos up on YouTube, which is all of my stream archives, which is super exciting for me. I have a list of games here that I've actually played on stream and finished on stream, so I'm going to go through them because I'm really proud of myself and maybe touch on some of the games just a little bit as we go. So Stardew Valley, for sure, one of my favorite games. I streamed a few episodes of those and that was really fun. I perfected the game this year so that's exciting eternal sonata a very good rpg which didn't age very well but i still really like it nino kuni beautiful game studio ghibli inspired wonderful monster raising world the very touching story inside majora's mask i didn't finish this game on stream because it frustrated me but i would like to go back to it and play it again and actually play hopefully the 3ds version because it's much better Star Fox Adventures, another game that didn't age very well, but very cute game starring one of my favorite characters. I did a couple episodes of Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals, an extremely good Super Nintendo RPG. It's not possible to find at all now these days, so I would recommend that you emulate it. It's a Super Nintendo game, so not very hard to do. Very good game. We also played the new Pokemon Snap. I played, I think, a couple episodes of that, or a couple streams of that. I didn't finish all the way through, and I still haven't finished yet, but maybe today I'll go back to it. It seems like a nice thing to do on Christmas Day. We also did some Minecraft. We celebrated the release of, of Caves and Cliffs Part 1 and Part 2. So those are both now... Um, I'm on a Minecraft world with Fallen Angel now, or Minecraft Realm. So exploring all the new things that it has to offer. What is this? I can't even read my handwriting. Oh, Dragon Quest XI. So we played one stream of Dragon Quest XI, where I had already beaten the main story and we were diving into the the uh, post game, which is also very long but fulfilling. We played Baron Breakfast, which was a very cozy indie game. I haven't seen anything more about it. I don't know if it actually released already, but it's about a bear running a breakfast bed and breakfast inn. So it's a very cute game. I think when it's finished, I'll probably be very interested. Super Mario 64, we did that for my N64 celebration stream, which is where I think I met a lot of people this year. I'm starting to realize that stream draw, drew in a lot of new people to my chat, so or my stream, which is really cool. We played the remastered Legend of Mana, which is beautiful. It looks like a wonderful, um, they did a wonderful job with the remaster, the colors. That's another game I didn't play all the way through, so I'd like to at some point. It's, it's very good. We played Earthbound. This was for my, was it 200 follower celebration, I think? No, or no, maybe 150, not 200. 200 was Super Mario RPG. But we did Earthbound, and Earthbound is actually another game I'd like to make into a full stream series at one point, so that'll happen sometime in 2022, I'm sure. We played Secret of Evermore, which got a lot of interest, surprisingly. And I think it's because it's a game most people don't know even exists, but it is kind of a spiritual successor to Secret of Mana on the Super Nintendo and it does a lot of neat things and I had a lot of fun streaming it actually so I might go back to it and make a full stream series of that too at some point. We played one episode of Skyward Sword, uh, the remaster for the Switch and the reason I did only one episode is because I wanted to play the game off stream by myself which I did and I enjoyed it a lot so that was a lot of fun I'm glad I decided to do it that way. We played a cute little indie game called Haven Park, a very cute game about 
I can't remember exactly what it was, but it's restoring kind of a park to its former glory. You play as this little bird that can chirp as you walk around. I remember that part very much. We played My Time at Porsche. A very good life sim that unfortunately I feel like loses steam for me. Like when you get kind of going, when the game starts going, it loses steam, which is really weird. I guess a weird concept to say, but it was really good. It's a really good game. I recommend it. Just for me, it loses steam somewhat. So we play Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, another excellent game I did not finish yet. This is a good, it'd be a good way for me to remind me what games I need to go back and finish. So we, it's a good action adventure title based on the D&D mechanics. Really good. Excellent game. I did my first randomizer, Link to the Past randomizer. I didn't beat it. I did, I think, three or four attempts, but I still couldn't do it. I'd like to go back and try that again sometime. I did one episode of Deadly Towers, which was very frustrating, but it is a Nintendo game that's infamous for how difficult and unfair it is. But I streamed it because we hit some goals on my subathon. So I also played Legend of Dragoon, which was another uh, goal. Unfortunately, I got soft locked in there. So as we, as my good friend Jomi knows, there is a part in the game when you get to, I think it's Indel's castle. And if you have not leveled properly before you go in there, there is a very difficult boss. And if you're not leveled enough, there's not enough enemies inside. And if you use the save point inside, you're stuck, which I was. So I stopped the series entirely. But still a good game despite that one, that one little drawback. I also played Eastward, which was an excellent game. Another game I did not finish regrettably because Metroid Dread came out very shortly after Eastward. But very charming, very lovely graphical style. Clear shout out to Earthbound. So very excellent. I do want to go back and finish that too at some point. Maybe on stream. I also played Eternal Darkness. This did not finish all the way through because it got to a point in the game that was very difficult and unfair. So a cool concept in my memory, but not quite a game that I would ever go back to again. It's a really cool mechanic with the insanity and everything, but for me to actually play it, they would have to remake it entirely and do away with a lot of the frustrations. We played Mario Party Superstars. This was some of my best experiences this year too. Playing with my friends online was so great, so fun. Just a lot of goofy, silly times where we were just having a great time. I loved it. Also played some Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Skyrim for its 10 year anniversary. Started a new character. I think we did about three episodes of Skyrim. Really fun. I enjoyed that a heck of a lot. I'll probably do some more random Skyrim streams every now and then in between games. And these last two I'm adding in, I have every intention of finishing them, but we did start them and not finish them this year. So Resident Evil Village, which the first stream was really fun and very scary. And Final Fantasy VIII. So both of those I chose for stream challenges that were met by you lovely people because I turned 38 this year. So that's the reason I picked them. And in addition to those games, these are the games we actually beat on stream as full stream series. So Legend of Zelda, Minish Cap, excellent game. It's not talked about enough. If you have the chance to go play Minish Cap, I really recommend it. It does lots of interesting things and it's a wonderful, wonderful Zelda game, a top down Zelda game. I also, for the first time this year, played Resident Evil for the PlayStation and Resident Evil for the GameCube, the remake. I had a lot of fun. So I think the first Resident Evil was when I was doing YouTube recordings, which I don't do anymore. But that was a lot of fun, Resident Evil. And the GameCube remake was fun because I streamed that live and that was even more fun. So good time. We also finished Illusion of Gaia, an excellent game in the Soul Blazer series. I have not ever actually played Soul Blazer or Terradigma. But Illusion of Guy is wonderful. I, it has lots of good memories for me as a Super Nintendo game. And growing up, I remember when my mom was watching me play, we used to talk about how the locations in that game are all real places. So that was a good memory for me. Of course, we have Super Mario RPG, which I played last year, but I also played this year in my 200 follower celebration, which is insane because that was only a few months ago. And now we're at 300 followers, y'all. I can't believe it. But. It was a lot of fun playing that game from start to finish in just, I think just under or just over 12 hours. Very tiring, but I made it. It was a lot of fun. And y'all made me so happy by helping me meet my sub goals and my, my everything, all the goals that I wanted to meet for that stream. So 
thank you everybody you're wonderful we also played mystical ninja starring goemon finished that in two streams lovely quirky japanese game on the n64 that if you ever get a chance to somehow play please play this game not only is it really corny with a great soundtrack wonderful japanese themes but it's just a good game it's a lot of fun there aren't that many frustrating mechanics i think they aged very well uh, some of the gameplay is a little age dated of course but it's lovely uh we also beat chrono cross on stream in 11 streams we beat chrono cross lovely wonderful game that could possibly very possibly be getting a remaster very soon so if that turns out to be true that's really exciting Parasite Eve, that's another game that, oh, sorry, that we finished on stream. I'm happy to say that we beat it on stream this time. We actually managed to defeat Eve in her final form and the ultimate being, so yay for that. Um, I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to do that this time around, so I'm glad that we actually beat Eve. It's a very good game, by the way. I don't know if I can vouch for the second or the third games, but the first one is a masterpiece. Chrono Trigger, another game that we beat on stream, and I'm very happy that my friend Gokai also beat Chrono Trigger this year. I'm so proud of them. And for me, Chrono Trigger is just one of those games I feel like I have to replay every year because it's wonderful, it's lovely, great characters, great desi art design and art direction, beautiful soundtrack by Yasunori Mitsuda. So good. I recommend Chrono Trigger very much to all of you. If you love JRPGs, it's a must play. Super Mario Odyssey, that's another game we beat, and I'm happy I got to play it all the way through. This is a game I have very fond memories of because I, when I got the game originally, had a couple weeks off when the game was out, and I spent three or four days playing the game almost non-stop because I was so hooked, and I managed to get every single moon, 999 moons, in those three or four days, and I was so proud of myself, and this time though we did a more casual stream and we beat the game you know without getting all the moons obviously but i'm very happy to have shared that with all of you because i think odyssey is lovely and last but not least paper mario thousand year door so this was really fun to play all the way through again i had a frustrating moment at the end because i could not beat the shadow queen on stream again but if you want to check out my actual defeat uh, de beating her i did a recording off stream and beat her and I appended that to the end of my stream on YouTube. So if you check out that video, it does have my conquering the Shadow Queen and the ending of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So that was a lot of games. I probably missed some. This was just me looking back through my YouTube catalog this year. I think I might have missed some games here and there in the one-off section, but that was a lot of games that we played this year and I'm so happy that you joined me for all of them. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time too you know i am so happy that i met so many wonderful people and communities this year i am so thankful for all of you you have no idea how much it means to me that you've become my friends you've become part of my life not just a twitch community but true friends that have really supported me some of y'all have sent me gifts and letters in the mail some of you have given me money to support me through this hard time i'm going through so I cannot thank you enough for all of your friendship and kindness, and I really want to repay you someday when things are better for me. I'm sure, you know, things will turn around. I know they will. And when they do, I, I intend to repay you all, you know, tenfold. But I, I do want to go through a list of people I have here. If you're not on this list, please don't take it the wrong way. I made this list in like 10 minutes this morning, and it's some of the people that just come to mind first for me. So if you're not on here, don't think that I don't think about you or that I don't think you're important but these are just the people that came to my mind immediately so first of all I did want to thank my channel mods so the lovely Fallen Angel, Captain Gokai, Super Philip 32 and Pup Coda. Uh, Fallen Angel, Super Philip and Coda all stream so their information will be in the video description below so make sure you check them out they're all lovely. Gokai used to stream but they don't stream anymore so but you can still check them out on their Twitch channel. I don't know if there's any content there, but they're all lovely people that I've known for, well, three of them I've actually only met this year. And Fallen I met, I don't know how long ago, maybe only one or two years ago too. But it's just been wonderful getting to know them all. And they're definitely all worth knowing. So please check them all out. And some other people, I'm just going to go through a list. So 
I have Nimira and Spoonie Sage, Kelly and David, my wonderful friends. Thank you so much for being a part of my life, continuing to be a part of my life and inspiring me to stream and keep going, you know. I think we, Kelly, you and I talked a lot at the beginning of our streaming careers and I'm just happy we can keep each other going. It's been wonderful. It's been a fun ride. Thank you so much for the gifts you sent me this year. Lovely. And David, your Lego ornament is hanging on our tree. It's now, you know, not in pieces anymore. So we figured out thanks to you how to put it back together. So thank you. Chicken Stew Chewy, my lovely friend in Washington. Thank you so much for being a wonderful friend to me and supporting me and giving me words of encouragement whenever I needed it. Congratulations on your new job you got this year. I'm super proud of you and I love you so much. Thank you. Oceanity, my wonderful bird friend. Thank you for working on all of the emotes for me. All the fox emotes are lovely. I'm looking forward to working with you more in the future and watching you grow this year from a small channel to over a thousand followers on Twitch and probably more now. I'm so proud of you. You've done such a great job. You're just an amazing person. You deserve every success that you've gotten this year. Grace and Sid, my friend from Australia. Such a good person. Such a lovely human being. Thank you so much for being my friend and supporting me. All the way through, Drew, you were the best. I'm looking forward to our friendship growing even farther from here. So thank you, Drew. Calisti, Doug, my UK friend. Thank you so much for being in my life as well. I love seeing all of the things that you do, the games that you make, the cakes that you bake. All the stuff that you do is amazing, so keep it up, but also take some time for yourself because you deserve it. Uh, but thank you, I hope to see you and maybe go to Japan with you one day. So thank you, Doug. Mr. Gweepster, Dax, my lovely friend, thank you so much for coming into my life this year. You were, and now, I now know the story of how we met, it's because you came into my N64 stream and we talked we were talking about next 64 games and i guess we just clicked because i consider you a dear friend now even though we just met so i know you're going through some tough times in your life but i will be there for you all the way through so thank you Dak, so much jomi my beautiful friend jomi jomi games you are such a lovely and wonderful person that i was so lucky to meet this year just by chance i think and i think you do a wonderful job with your streams you have a lovely personality and i love i love getting to know you so Thank you so much, Jomi. I appreciate you very much. Bant Camp, Jack, my friend Jack, who lives in a very, very cold place. Thank you, Jack, for, for everything that you've done for me this year. I've really loved getting to learn about you and see how much of a nerd you are because I'm also a nerd myself <laughs> with things like Magic the Gathering and tabletop games. And your love for obscure games like Monster Rancher has really made me um, happy to have met you and become a friend. So thank you, Jack. Sikkim Eric, my lovely friend Eric, who lives with me in Hawaii. Thank you so much for being such a good friend. Th and I really want to congratulate for you for all the growth you've seen this year. The last charity stream you had was amazing. With all of that money that you made for your charity. I'm so proud of you. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas and I hope to meet you soon. Thank you. Uh, Sumumu Carter, my lovely friend, you always make me laugh every time I see you in your streams. You're such a wonderful person and such a quirky personality, but I still feel comfortable being around you, you know, and I hope to see more of you and hang out with you more. We still need to play Mario Party, so I'm looking forward to that. I hope you have a good Christmas, Carter. My friends, Bear Square 2, Matt and Jason, thank you so much for being in my life this year. You two are amazing people that always make me laugh. Every time in your stream, I just feel so at home and y'all are always so welcoming and so nice to me i'm just so appreciative of your friendship i love being in your stream you have such a good energy you both seem to be lovely wonderful people so thank you so much for being in my life uh, final counselor matt i know we just only met this year as well but i love all the cosplays that you do they're so cool and so fun and your stream just has a very cozy vibe to it that i really enjoy so i'm so glad i got to meet you and you know as a div as I dive more into the horror genre, I'm sure we're gonna have so much more to talk about. So thank you so much. I hope to get to know you even better as we go forward. Arcade Bear, Raph, I am so glad I got to meet you. You have such a lovely community and your streams are always so cozy and fun and sometimes a little naughty, but that's what I like. So I really appreciate you reaching out to me and also getting to know me too. Um, you know, sometimes with bigger streamers like yourself and bigger communities, I'm a little bit more intimidated, but you're just such a nice guy and always so sweet to me. So thank you, Raph. I really appreciate you. 
I should have brought some water. I still have more to go. Morbidly gay, Jonathan and Mass, my two lovely friends over again in Washington. You two are such lovely guys that I'm so happy to have gotten to know and continue to get to know. You're both very lovely people and I just love being around you. And the energy that you give and the kindness that you show are just so amazing. It's right in line with what I like to be and what I like to see in people. So, And I also like that you call people out for their bullshit, Jonathan. Especially you. That's really good. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. So you have a good Christmas and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, Wolfie, my friend Ethan that I just got to hang out with last night. Thank you so much. I'm so glad we got to reconnect through Twitch. You know, we actually haven't hung out for... I think it's been a long time, several years uh, since we hung out last. I'm just so happy to have reconnected with you and that I get to see you in streams and in Discord. It's so fun. I'm, I'm glad that we have this connection and I hope to see more of you in the, in the coming year as well. Um, Helen, my friend Helen, you're so sweet. My friend uh, Helen from the UK. Uh, Little Miss Sunshine, thank you so much for being so sweet and kind to me all the time she helen has given me gifts through coffee and she sent me such supportive messages and she's always so nice you know it's like i don't know how i deserved a friend like helen but helen you're the best keep keep doing what you do you're so sweet so wonderful so lovely i hope you have a wonderful christmas thank you helen you're the sweetest jojo my friend joseph's world the person who i commissioned to draw me as bowser this year if you have not seen it it is my twitch banner and i have also shared it in my twitter or not my twitch banner my twitter banner my apologies wonderful artist he does great work thank you so much jojo i'm so happy to have met you this year and also i'm honored that you got i got to be drawn by you so thank you so much common reactor my friend common reactor thank you so much i think you have stuck out for me because you're so supportive all the time I always see the raids from you and coming in to support me when I'm streaming. So I really appreciate that and your friendship. So I hope you have a happy Christmas. Thank you, Colin. Stariana. Stariana, thank you so much for supporting me in my streams. And I'm so proud of you for starting your own streams this year. I want to see more of your artwork and more of your streams and just getting in there and enjoying your company because they're very cozy. You and Necro. So thank you so much for all of your friendship. And thank you so much for the Christmas card too. It was very lovely. So I'm looking forward to our friendship growing even further. So thank you, Star. Uh, shockingly saying, Logan, I wanted to personally thank you here because you are another person that have always been thoughtful and reach out to me whenever I'm going through a hard time or when you're noticing that I'm struggling. You're usually there in my DMs to check on me. So thank you, Logan. I know you're going through some tough, tough, tough stuff yourself. So don't forget that I am also here. And good luck on your your dream to compose for a game. I think your compositions are lovely. And whenever I see them, I'll try to share them so that people can enjoy them too. Merry Christmas, Logan. Thank you. Earl here. Earl, my friend Earl. <laughs> you are so lovely and so much fun and so full of gay energy that I just love it. I'm so happy that I got to meet you by chance this year and I hope to talk to you and get to know you more and hopefully meet you in person one day because I think all of that energy would just rub off on me I believe so you've just been a great wonderful friend and I hope all the best for you in 2022. Frack, Fractural, my friend in Japan. I'm so happy that you have become a part of my Discord community and we've got to talk more this year and, get to, and I've gotten to know you better. You're just a very lovely, wonderful, quirky, fun person that I'm happy to have met. And I know we didn't talk much before, uh, before you joined the Discord, but I'm so happy now that we chat all the time and I'm very thankful for your friendship. So thank you, Frack. Instagami, my friend Gary, you are one of the sweetest people I've ever met. And another person that always reaches out to me when I'm not feeling well, when I'm not at my best, you come and you check on me and you make me feel better. So thank you, Gary. I know you two struggle with things, so I am always here if you need me. Best of luck, and I hope you have a wonderful 2022 as well. Um, Jason and Joey, my two Canadian friends that um, I've, had the ch I've known you both for a long time, and... It's just been wonderful keeping in touch with you and seeing you and your families grow. And I know we haven't talked as much lately, but you both have joined my Discord too, so I've been able to keep up with you there. And I really appreciate both of you checking in on me and being there for me when times are tough. So thank you so much to the two of you. And I can't wait to see, you know, how much your families grow more in the future. You're both great dads, by the way, so... And last but not least, Mr. J, Jason, 
you always make me laugh when you come into my streams. You have this wonderful, sarcastic and jokey energy that I just love to see. And despite my community being mostly queer, you know, you fit yourself right in. And I think you're just a lovely member of not only my community, but all the other communities I've met. So thank you all. And that was, and again, that's not a comprehensive list of everybody who has affected affected me positively but it's just people i could think of you know off the top of my head and i will put links in the description to all of these lovely people because a lot of them are streamers and if they're not streamers i'll also put their twitter handles so you can go check them out on twitter all very wonderful people that are worth getting to know so thank you to all of you again and you know, I think this year, as I was sitting down this morning, I do my usual, what is it? I do my greetings to everyone for Christmas, right? I, I do digital greetings. I send out texts. I send out DMs on Twitter. I post messages on electronic areas for everyone. And I am overwhelmed by the number of people that I have on my list this year. And it has grown so much. And I cannot thank you all enough. Again, it's not just about Twitch or Twitter, or about my community. It's just meeting all these wonderful new friends that are now in my life and it makes me really happy that so much has changed positively for me this year even though it's a tough year you know my husband's health is still not good and neither is my mom's but i think with all of your support and i guess my own strength i know i'll be okay and i really appreciate that and I'm just looking forward to what's going to come in 2022. You know, I'm probably not going to do a New Year's video like this. This is kind of my, com my what is it, combined version of that. So all of you who are watching, all of you who I mentioned, I love you all. Thank you so much for being in my life. And I hope that 2022 brings everything that you want and more. So I'll see you on streams. I'll see you online. Take care until next time. Bye.